Thank you. Welcome, Director. As a former FBI director, you'd agree that the FBI is the world's most capable law enforcement agency. I would say we're, yes. The FBI claims the counterintelligence investigation of the Trump campaign began on July 31st, 2016. But in fact, it began before that. In June 2016, before the investigation officially opened, Trump campaign associates Carter Page and Stephen Miller, a current Trump advisor, were invited to attend a symposium at Cambridge University in July 2016. Your office, however, did not investigate who was responsible for inviting these Trump associates to this symposium. Your investigators also failed to interview Stephen Schrage, an American citizen who helped organize the event and invited Carter Page to it. Is that correct? Uh, can you repeat the question? Whether or not uh, you uh, interviewed Stephen Schrage, who organized the Cambridge. Okay, I'm, in those areas, I am going to uh, stay away from. The first Trump associate to be investigated was General Flynn. Many of the allegations against him stem from false media reports that he had an affair with a Cambridge academic, Svetlana Lokova, and that Lokova was a Russian spy. Some of these allegations were made public in a 2017 article written by British intelligence historian Christopher Andrew. Your report fails to reveal how or why Andrew and his collaborator Richard Dearlove, former head of Britain's MI6, spread these allegations. And you failed to interview Svetlana Lokova about these matters. Is that correct? I'm going to get in, I'm not going to get into those uh, matters to which you uh, uh, refer. You had a team of 19 lawyers, uh, 40 agents, uh, and an unlimited budget, correct, Mr. Mueller? I would not say we had an unlimited budget. Let's continue with the ongoing or the opening of the investigation, supposedly on July 31st, 2016. The investigation was not open based on an official product from Five Eyes Intelligence, but based on a rumor conveyed by Alexander Downer. On volume one, page 89, your report describes him blandly as a representative of a foreign government. But he was actually a longtime Australian politician, not a military or intelligence official who had previously arranged a $25 million donation to the Clinton Foundation and has previous ties to Dear Love. So Downer conveys a rumor he supposedly heard about a conversation between Papadopoulos and Joseph Mifsud. James Comey has publicly called Mifsud a Russian agent, yet your report does not refer to Mifsud as a Russian agent. Mifsud has extensive contacts with Western governments and the FBI. For example, there is a recent photo of him standing next to Boris Johnson, the new Prime Minister of Great Britain. What we're trying to figure out here, Mr. Mueller, is if our NATO allies or Boris Johnson have been compromised. So we're trying to figure out, Comey says Mifsud is a Russian agent, you do not. So is, do you stand by what's in the report? I stand by that which is in the report. and. Not so necessarily with that which is, un, uh, which is not in the report. I want to return to Mr. Downer. He denies that Papadopoulos mentioned anything to him about Hillary Clinton's emails. And in fact, Mifsud denies mentioning to them pop to, that to Papadopoulos. He denies that Papadopoulos mentioned anything to him about Hillary Clinton's emails. And in fact, Mifsud denies mentioning to them to Papadopoulos in the first place. So how does the FBI know to continually ask Papadopoulos about Clinton's emails for the rest of 2016. Even more strangely, your sentencing memo on Papadopoulos blames him for hindering the FBI's ability to potentially detain or arrest Mifsud. But the, tr the truth is, Mifsud waltzed in and out of the United States in December 2016. The U.S. media could find him, the Italian press found him, and he's a supposed Russian agent at the epicenter of the purported collusion conspiracy. He's the guy who knows about Hillary Clinton's emails and that the Russians have them. But the FBI failed to question him for a half a year after officially opening the investigation. And then according to volume one, page 193 of your report, once Mifsud finally was questioned, he made false statements to the FBI. But you declined to charge him. Is that correct? You did not 
indict Mr. Mifsud? Well, I, I'm not going to speak to the series of uh, happenings as you articulated them. But you did not indict Mr. Mifsud. The time of the gentleman has expired. Uh, pardon? You did not indict Mr. Mifsud. True. Mr. Hyde.